Students from the University of Colorado Denver look out on one of the seven natural wonders of Africa. They're amazed that the Ngorongoro Crater is their classroom this summer, part of CU Denver's field school in Tanzania. The students see animals galore, wildebeests, zebras, gazelles, elephants, hippos, and baboons. They catch a glimpse of the rare black rhino, a critically endangered animal, and watch lions basking under the midday sun. The students traveled halfway around the world to perform research at the Lytoli and Olduvai Gorge fossil sites, which are considered to be the cradle of humankind. It was really not real life. Like, I always see this on the TV and you read about it in the books and you're actually seeing it with your own eyes. It's absolutely amazing just to see the variety of animals living together as they do. The students enjoy day trips like this because they give them a wider view of Africa during their field school experience. The school was started in 2006 by CU Denver anthropology professor Charles Musiba, a Tanzanian native and expert in the study of human origins. I've been um, studying anthropology for over a decade now, and this particular site has been pretty much what we would consider like a mecca for anthropologists. For me, personally, it's a dream come true. I've just been absolutely amazed at some of the sites that we've seen that we've studied for years, and I've just been in awe of seeing the site with my own two eyes. Um, and then, of course, being able to excavate and do a lot of work myself that anthropologists that I've adorned over the years, I'm following in their footsteps. So for me, it's absolutely a dream come true. Historic footsteps, the fossilized variety, are what the students and Professor Musiba have traveled all the way from Colorado to find. The famous hominid footprints were discovered here at the Lytoli fossil site almost 40 years ago. Now, the CU Denver team is working to excavate more of them. The footprints date back 3.6 million years to a time of massive volcanic eruptions in northern Tanzania and are the earliest evidence of our ancestors walking upright. They haven't found any additional prints yet, but they are discovering plenty of animal bones and geologic phenomena. They're trying to reach a level in the ground more than a foot deep in most places, which may contain more hominid footprints. I'm trying to reach the next layer below this, which is supposed to be what's called the biotite layers. Beneath that is where the prints are. And so we're trying to just reach that particular layer. And once we get to that point, which is still about another inch or so deep, then we'll be digging with smaller tools because then that way we ensure that we don't um, damage footprints if they do exist in the next layer. Lytoli is a World Heritage Site. Professor Musiba and his students are laying the groundwork for what will be a new museum to showcase the hominid prints. A group of Tanzanian government officials met with the CU Denver team to discuss their important work. When those prints the sediments were dated to about 3.6 uh, million years ago. They became the very first evidence to actually contain information about how our ancestors walked around. And this became the most important sign because it's the only site in the world right now. Musiba makes sure the students experience the natural surroundings, the heritage, and the rich culture of Tanzania during their time at the field school. Some experiences were both profound and intense, like this Musai rite of passage ceremony, where several tribesmen marked a new stage of adulthood. The students are drawn into the chanting and jumping circles by both Maasai warriors, as well as the young Maasai girls. We have a big celebration today because of this high ceremony. We are almost the seven of us. We blessed them yesterday. So now we are free to drink milk inside without anybody. Do you understand? Back at camp, 
the students reflected on how special it was to be invited to the Maasai ceremony. The Maasai girls all keep their heads shaved and they have very, very long hair. So they thought that that was kind of weird. And um, they do piercings in their ears and they do gauges, but they had never seen, I guess, facial piercings. So they, they really liked my lip piercing. And they really liked I have a gauge in my cartilage. And they were like amazed by that because it's what they have. But Tracy and her fellow students remain focused on their important work, trying to uncover more history-making fossils. I think the highlight of what we've been doing is what we're working on now here at Leo Tolly. It's just cool to be digging at the layer that actually has track prints, and so hopefully we'll find like a hominid footprint, and that would be really cool. That would be awesome. <laughs> Even if they don't find more hominid footprints, the students have experienced a life-changing six weeks in sub-Sahara Africa. They turned classroom theory into hands-on practice in the field, a hallmark of their education at CU Denver. And they've helped lay the groundwork for a modern museum that will showcase a global treasure, evidence of man's earliest ancestors. Someday, future students will come to Africa to learn from the museum and to continue the work of the innovative University of Colorado Denver Field School. I'm actually living my dream and actually going out to a field site and doing excavations and setting up grids and, you know, actually applying what I've learned academically. I love school, I love being in class, but I've learned as much, if not more, just being in the field for that 10 days or that 20 days than I'll ever learn in one semester of class. Because I get, I'm there, I'm actually touching the bones, I'm actually doing all these, this research and work on the spot instead of just talking about it in class. Dr. Masiba really treats his students well. He provides wonderful food, the safety, uh, amazing cultural experiences. He makes sure that you get a true sense of what Africa is. It's just an amazing experience.